Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute and very durable matching game. For this project you will need the following. For this project you will need four sheets of felt that are 12 inches by 19 inches, preferably felt that has wool in it so it can take the iron on, white or black iron on, a Cricut Maker, fabric mat, light grip mat, easy press, easy press mat, weeding tools, and of course, sewing essentials, you know, scissors, thread, that sort of thing. You'll also need the design space file. I will have a link to that below. Step one, cut out the materials. I have the felt shapes, hexagons are all set and ready to go for you in design space. They are purple and peach in color. Using the rotary blade, cut out all four sheets. Now you should have a bunch of hexagons. Take them off the mat. Set all those hexagons aside. All right, now that we have all those items cut out, it's time to get started. And we're gonna have to do a couple of prep things. One is we need to weed the vinyl. Switch to the fine point blade and cut out the heat transfer vinyl. Weed the vinyl. All right, now that the vinyl's weeded, we're going to iron on the letters to the pieces that we're gonna have as the bottom side of the matching game. Step two, add the everyday vinyl to the matching game pieces. You can do this several pieces at a time. Lay the color of the matching game out that you want the letters or images to go on. Cut the letters or images apart and center them on the felt pieces. Using the correct setting on the easy press, adhere the iron on. Warm peel the transfer plastic. Okay, looks good. Next step. Step three, finish the pieces. All right, now you have the option of you can glue them together or you can sew them together. If your children are like mine, they will pick things apart and if it is glued, it is possible to tear them apart, which my children will do. So I opted to sew them together. Yes, it does take some time, but it makes them super durable and then they can't destroy them, which is really the point, right? Match up one of the pieces with iron on to a piece that is blank. For me, that means matching a teal with a cream color. Using the edge foot, stitch around the outside with a straight stitch to finish the DIY matching game. Since this takes a little time, my advice is to do this in batches. And that's it. You have this super cute matching game that will last and last. And you don't have to do like the uppercase letters and lowercase letters like I did. You could do shapes, you could do colors, you could do any number of things for a really cute matching game. Not limited to an educational one like I did here. If you like this tutorial, I have several more on my website, pleasefun.com that I think you'll enjoy. I even have a link to a few um, extra tutorials below that I think you'll like, so you should check that out. Also, be sure to give me a thumbs up here for my hard work and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when I post another awesome video, just like this one. Have a great day and hey, let me know in the comments below, how would you mix it up? How would you make the matching game a little different? Let me know.